one of the problems with this new social world is sometimes stuff gets up about you that uh, you would rather not people see. And uh, I, that's happened to me, right? <laughs> I won't tell you about kissing a guy in a party in London, but uh, it's on TechCrunch. <laughs> it's a true story. But this Safe Shepherd, the next company here at uh, 500 Startups, uh, helps remove that kind of stuff from the internet and uh, make the world safe for you to get a new job. So. Who are you? I'm Robert Leshner, the founder of SafeShepherd.com. I'm a Chicagoan who came out west to have more privacy and to share our message of privacy with the world. Very cool. So I've been very public. I, yeah. you know, I have party pictures on the internet and all sorts of crazy stuff that I've done over the years. And I don't mind that. But a lot of people aren't used to this new world where somebody can take a picture of you at a party or something and put it up and maybe your future boss that you want to get a job with finds that and decides not to hire you. So what do you guys do about that? So what we do is we remove people's personal information from the web. So over time, a lot of the things that were private um, have uh, leaked out of social networks. They've come from public records. Anything that's been in the public eye at any point has been scraped, aggregated, and is being sold right now by people search websites, background check websites, and some marketing databases. So what we do is you, know, you give us a little bit of information, and we find you wherever we can and then we automate the process of removing you from the companies that are selling your information. So we automate their privacy policies and opt-out services to make it really simple for you to have much more privacy and have your information in a lot fewer places. So this isn't just about removing me from uh, social feeds. This is actually about get the databases like there's all sorts of different databases that suck this data in. Exactly, they're the ones okay. who are selling it and actually taking advantage of your information, okay. typically without your consent or even your knowledge. So those are the companies that we focus on to give you more privacy. Okay, so um, what can you do for me? What, what would you do to delete this information? So the first thing that we would do is we would go and we would try to find you, and I've actually looked up your information because you're probably the most public person in America right now, yeah. and you're on like 47,000 different websites. But there's a lot of websites that make certain pieces of information, like your address or your phone number, you know, public to anyone who would like to find them. And so what we would do is we would go to those websites and allow you to you know, see where it is and have a button that just says remove information. So you can make the decision on our service what you want to remove. And how much does this cost to use? So we're a freemium service. You know, our belief is that most people should be able to have some level of privacy for free. But then we offer a, you know, a premier tier of service where we have an extra, you know, we go the extra mile for our users. We can search more databases. You know, we can take actions that cost us money, like sending faxes and snail mail, things that, you know, it's not expensive, but it does cost us money. You know, there's definitely a premier level of service that we charge $65 per year for. Okay. And do you get me on the no, do not call da uh, lists, and do you help, help me enforce that because I get a, I do get some uh, spam phone calls that bug the crap. So out. right now we don't uh, offer do not call or you know email spam services, but that's definitely an area we're going to expand into at some point in the future. And how do you compare to uh, Reputation Defender? Because they they look at somebody wrote something about you. Right. On the, they on try the blog. to S SEO you know some good stuff above the bad stuff. Um, you know in a situation like yours when there's 20 million articles, there's no way they're going to be able to do anything about what's public for Robert Scoble. Right, but most people aren't, aren't in my situation. In They'll situation. have only one entry on Google and it'll be right. something that they did that they don't want everybody to see. That's, right. So it's a different business. Yeah, altogether. so they don't you know, necessarily remove information with their Privacy Defender product, but they definitely try to you know, up, you know, rank some better information. Do you work on Facebook at all, or it's, or is it just these commercial uh, resellers? Of so we don't, you know, actually remove information from Facebook or manage Facebook yet. But it's definitely an area we're really interested in, just because most of your information is shifting to social networks. Okay. And tell me about being here at Five Hundred Startups and what what the process for you was like, and what did you learn here? So Five Hundred has been amazing for us. Um, the biggest advantage was the massive network of mentors who helped us think about our product in different ways. I mean, we came in almost as naive entrepreneurs, and it was our first startup, and we were sort of learning as we went. And to have a depth of resources means we don't have to make the same mistakes that we would have otherwise, that we have advisors here who can basically take years of knowledge and help us you know, implement that in a matter of days and weeks. Yeah. What, what would your tip be for the next class? Um, my coming? tip for the next class would be easy. Be proactive and find other 
mentors and advisors that you want to work with and like suck the knowledge out of their brain, you know, nothing comes to you. Very cool. Well, where do we learn more about you guys? SafeShepherd.com. We don't exactly have a Twitter and Facebook presence, but uh, go to okay. SafeShepherd.com. Very cool. Thanks cool. for spending a few Robert, minutes. Robert, pleasure. Mm -hmm.